Hello my dear children. Welcome to Jaydev Edu CBSC. In today's class you will learn about soil. What is soil? Soil is the top layer of the earth where all the plants grow and it is very impossible for a plant to grow without this soil how this soil is formed see millions of years ago our earth is a ball of gases very hot ball it is a very hot ball of gases and gradually what happened it was cooled after some years and the outer layer of this ball was hardened to form layers of rocks so due to the heating and cooling of rocks each day and night this led to the cracking of rocks and not only that even the flowing winds the flowing water these all helped to break the rocks into small pieces whenever we see a cyclone you see many trees they fall on and uh, there you will see the soil will be running out in the flowing water like that some rocks have been broken into pieces and these pieces further they break down to form fine particles of soil thus the soil is formed and when i want to give you one example for that if you take a brick if you take one brick and with the help of a hammer if you hit it hard don't do it without the help of an elder just if you see anywhere if suppose if a brick it fit falls down what it will happen it will break into pieces some pieces they may be very big and some pieces they may be very small and even very tiny pieces it may be formed into very tiny pieces just like the soil so here here the small pieces how they resemble just like soil so we can say that the soil it is formed by the breaking up of rocks either it may be due to the action of the sun or it may be due to the rain or wind or even just by the moving water thus this uh, soil is formed and uh, what does the soil contains the soil it contains air as well as water so this soil it is a mixture of gravel sand clay and humus here for this i want to show you one activity what we should do let us take one beaker filled with uh, take some handful of uh, garden soil 
take a beaker and put some handful of soil in this beaker and next pour some water in it and leave it for an hour after an hour you can see layers different layers of soil see at the bottom what you can observe rocks this is gravel small pieces of rocks here because it is heavy as it is heavy the rocks have been or the gravel have been settled at the bottom and then uh, here above this uh, gravel you can see sand sand is a lighter one and uh, above that you can see clay this is clay and above this it is humus humus it is the topmost layer with dead plants or dried and decayed leaves either it may be uh, sticks here uh, this is garden soil so you can find dried leaves sticks all these things so actually we may find dead parts of uh, plants and animals which makes the soil fertile so have you observed all these four layers this is gravel then comes sand above this is clay and this is muddy water and above it is humus and so here this is the activity and in this you have have you seen the humus in the top so here in the, this humus it is the topmost layer and uh, with the dead parts of the plants and animals and you know this humus it makes the soil very fertile and also it is useful for the plant to grow well and next we can see the different kinds of soil here soil it is not in same color we see the soil in different colors sometimes it may be, in some places it may be black black soil and in some areas it may be brown may be dark brown or light brown and in some areas it is red in color and here there are three different kinds of soil they are types of soil types of soil first one is sandy soil second one is clay soil and the third one is loam these are the three different types of soils here the first one is the sandy soil this is the sand and this is made up of fine particles of sand that is why it is called as sandy 
soil. And where do you find this sand? See, whenever you go to a beach, seashore, there you find sand. And if you go to a desert, there also a lot of sand is there. And not only there, even on the river sides. So where do we find sand? Either on the seashores, river sides and deserts. And this sand, with this sand, it is used to make glass, cement and even this, you know, this sand is used in the construction of buildings. This sandy soil, it contains big gaps between them. They are filled with air and it doesn't hold any water. It is there because there are gaps in it. And the next one is clayey soil. See this clay, this is called as clayey soil. See how it is. These are the very fine particles of clay. That is why this is called as clay soil. And where it can be found? On the river beds. And it is a smooth and it is very soft to touch. And you know, with this, whenever... Uh, uh, we are small, no? We use it to make small toys with this type of soil. So even you two can try it with the clay soil. See, this is used to make toys, pots. Pottery he used to make pots with the help of this clay soil. And not only that, even bricks. And they stick together very closely, leaving no space. And this holds water, but not any air. So this type of soil is called as clay soil. And the next one is loam. This is loam. Loam is the mixture of both this uh, sand and clay. Together it forms loam. See this contains equal amount of sand and clay. And this one it is very good for growing crops. And this contains lot of water as well as lot of air. And humus in it. And it is very good for the plants to grow. And this can hold enough water and air in it. So that plants can grow very well in this loamy soil. As it is a mixture of both sand and clay. So plants they need soil to grow. You know that. What do they take in? Water and minerals from the soil. And the farmers, they make the soil very fertile by adding manure to it. So that we can get good crop. And the soil it is a home to many of the animals. If there are no plants, we have nothing to eat. So children, plant mini trees. See, some animals like uh, snail, earthworm, ants, uh, some type of animals, they live in this soil only. So you can say that soil, even it is a home for Many of the animals, 
they live in it and uh, the nutrients that plant takes from the soil are called as minerals that is why the plants are able to grow in a healthy way and not only really that even some animal waste are mixed with soil because they help the plants to grow well and it is called as manure so always remember the importance of the soil so children i hope that you have enjoyed this class and learned a lot about the soil so my dear students what i am going to tell you is keep planting trees and make your surroundings very beautiful with many type of plants so thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe thank you bye